My dad always tells me, if your leg's not broken, you get up and you carry on. And I was thinking, wow, my leg is broken, I can't get up. It was quite a weird feeling, to be honest. I knew that something had happened, but I didn't probably know or understand how serious it was going to be. When I did look at my knee and saw that obviously things weren't in the right place as it should be, then I knew it was going to put me out of netball for a while. I was in hospital for two nights. Um, the first night I was in incredible pain. I couldn't, couldn't shake it at all. Um, they even had me on my own. Um, button that you could push for morphine because they just we just couldn't control it. It was that uncomfortable. I must say I didn't get any sleep that night. Was on you know good good pain relief at that time, um, and I think a lot of chocolate. Um. <laughs> so pretty much then I went home, and for four weeks I just had to sit with a straight leg and try and do nothing. So. I lasted about a week <laughs> at home and then I went to my mum and dad's house for a week and just sort of tried to, you know, try to become independent and then um, I probably had a dark two weeks of that, not depression, but just thinking, oh, you know, it's actually real now, like I, it all begins again sort of thing. So um, I've had the hugest and, and probably the best support network I could have around me. The amount of um, flowers and cards and gifts from people uh, and even in Australia you know the ones that you know when you're playing and they're yelling at you and you think they don't like you that you know they sent me stuff which was um, like my, my younger sister said it was almost like there had been a death because there were so many flowers in our, <laughs> in our house. I have given all myself all that I had left to so initially my leg was stuck straight and every day I got bent a little bit more but we were aiming for 10 degrees every two weeks. That's where those dark two weeks came in because that's probably the most pain I've ever felt in my entire life, even more than when it happened. Um, so I would just come to physio um, with Ronnie, and she would bend it and just push it and push it and push it and there was tears, there was swear words, there was um, times where I just wanted to kick her <laughs> because she was hurting me but at the end of the day I knew it needed to be done and so did she. Then the next part was actually connect connecting my muscles and my knee back to my brain. So when we got to lift my leg off the bed by myself, we high five, we had um, slice, we had we celebrated because it's it's huge. Well, I'm sure I wasn't a favourite person in the beginning when I had to get the, the range of movement back. Casey works extremely hard. She is so dedicated um, and I've got no doubt that she's just gonna progress, progress every week. Most of it is your mind. Initially when you do something new, I do I do am a bit cautious and a bit weary of it, but once I've done it once it's fine and you just got to go with it because if anything that's what that's what will hold you back so mentally a lot of the time it's hard. I've had my fair share of injuries and I, you sort of know what you have to go through and what it feels like to get back to 100%. The days are pretty full on but I'm committed to it and I don't want to have any reason for an excuse of when I do, if I don't get selected for World Cup or to get to play ANZ and say well, I didn't turn up that day or I didn't do this that day. I want to have saying that I did everything possible to be ready. My goal is to get back on the court um, and playing netball, um, whether that be for ANZ, whether that be for Silver Ferns, or whether that's, you know, the World Cup, I mean, or whether it's after that. I want to do anything and everything possible to be back on that court, but I can't put a date or a time on it. But the overall goal is to be back playing netball. At the moment, rehab feels like it's harder than actually when you're training and playing for, you know, when you're not injured. But um, I know when I look back, I'll be happy with everything that I've done. And when, you know, I hope to be playing in that World Cup, um, it'll all be worth it.